The East African community has committed to strengthening its ability to tackle terrorism. The EAC will establish a counter-terrorism center to coordinate efforts across all member countries. Each of us has been dealing with immigration and counter-terrorism on their own, and now we have come together. The EA Counter-Terrorism Center is under discussion. It is still under infancy stages. The new body will be different from the Defense Counter-Terrorism Center, CTC, which is already in place. The CTC's new role will include gathering and sharing of intelligence information, as well as developing new ideas. Kenya has taken a central role in the security proceedings of the EAC. This is in part because the country has suffered numerous terror attacks over the years, as well as recently increased activity from Al-Shabaab across the border in Somalia. Both Kenya and Uganda contribute a sizable number of troops to the African Union peacekeeping operations there. Terrorism is a reality now. It is also evolving and becoming more sophisticated. It means that law enforcement body must also have a center point at where they can be trained and informed and can share ideas and intelligence information. Another important component of the EAC's regional security effort is the Eastern African Standby Force, EASF. It expands the members from 6 to 10, adding Comoros, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Seychelles, and Somalia, although Eritrea and South Sudan have yet to join the EASF. It has a fully funded 5,800 strong force in place since 2014. The EASF can be deployed within 14 days, and its role is reactive. The new body being formulated by the EAC will have a different mandate. The EAC CTC is different from the EASF in that the center's role will be more of detect and prevent. It will be able to build capacity of the forces, liaise with institutions, if any. We don't have specialized institutions in the EAC to handle this. This is a recommendation which will be forwarded to the full council. This month, Rwandan troops were dispatched to Mozambique to fight the growing terror movement in the north of the country. The Rwandans had immediate success, retaking key territory. The insurgency leadership is thought to come from Tanzania. There are fears that they might unite with Al-Shabaab to create a wider problem on the Indian Ocean coastline. ADN-TV will continue to report on security developments in East Africa.